Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're a subscriber and you've watched my videos before, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing and uh, helping my channel out. It is greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I hope you find this informational or entertaining or whatever, um, or interesting even. Um, and if you like it, I would appreciate uh, maybe a, a few likes and uh, if you feel so led to subscribe and help my channel grow a little more. It'd be greatly appreciated. So let's just jump into what we're going to do here. Um, I've been doing a lot of cleaning up in my system lately, getting ready to do a, a fresh install of something else, uh, doing some changes to my repos on Git, and um, I've been doing a lot. So I've been doing a lot of Git add, Git commit, Git push, yada yada yada, and it's really getting kind of annoying. So last night I sat down and I decided I'm going to make a script. I'm going to make a script that's going to automate all this and it's going to make my life a lot easier. And, well, did it really make my life a lot easier? Sure. Um, was my life really that hard having to do all the steps on my own? No. But I did it anyway. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let's launch into a terminal here and we're going to cd into my scripts directory. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to vim into my new script, which is called gpush for git push. I'm going to go over it real quick and I'm going to show you how exactly it works and what it does. So basically we run the bin bash up here, the shebang. Um, not absolutely necessary, but why would you not? It's it's there. So um, Then this first line here, the set-eo pipe fail, is basically if, it, if any of the steps in the script fail, it's not going to continue trying to run it. I don't know if that's necessary in this script. I just put it up there because I did. <laughs> um, whether I need it or not, I don't know. But at least it'll stop if um, if any of the steps fail for some reason. Um, right here I have my variables, repo and file. Repo is set to my first argument and file is set to my second argument. Um, <clears throat> and I'll show you what I mean by that and how it works in a minute if you're if you're unclear. Um, so basically as the script starts, first what it's going to do is it's going to check to make sure my first and second my first and second arguments, these guys right here, make sure they're not empty. So it's going to make sure I type something there. If they are empty, then it's going to tell me, if either one of them is empty, it's going to tell me error, please include repo name followed by file name or star glob if you're doing the entire directory. And then it's going to exit and it's going to have me restart the script again and I'm going to have to enter those, my repo name and my file name. If they aren't empty and I have both those there, it's going to run a git status, which basically is going to check for any changed, modified, added, deleted, whatever, any files in the directory in the, in the git repo that have been changed, added, or deleted. And it's going to run that. Once it runs that and prints it out for me, it's going to give me a message that asks if I would like to push those changes. Um, so, and it'll wait for my my reply. If my reply is yes, either capital Y or lowercase y, then it's going to run through another if statement that says if argument two, which is the file, is star for glob, which means every file in the directory or in the repo, then it's going to do a git add period which if you're familiar with git, git add period means you're adding all the files in the directory. If it's not a, a star or the glob symbol, it's going to add a git add and then it's going to give me the file name, the second argument there. And then that's going to finish and it's going to uh, print out for me, it's going to say add message. So then for my commit message, it's going to wait for my input as to what the commit message is. So. It'll verify whether it wants me to push all the files or, or whether I want to push all files or just one file. Then it's going to give me a message to add the commit message. Once I do that, it's going to commit. It's going to do the git commit, whatever whatever my message was here, and then it's going to push both to GitLab and GitHub, and it's going to push to whatever repo was in my first argument there. Now, when it asks me if I would like to push changes, if I say no. Then what it's going to do is it's going to tell me no changes were pushed, it's going to sleep for two seconds, and then it's going to exit the script together without doing any um, git add, without, any do, without doing any of that. So let's take a look at how it works. Let's exit out of here, and let's do a, well actually let's go back in there. So um, I have this commented line right here that just says this is a comment. We're going to delete that out, and then we are going to write and quit. Now, I have a modified file. So if I run my script, which is again called gpush, and I want to push the scripts directory or scripts repo, and then the file I changed was gpush, which is the script file. If I hit enter, it's going to tell me this is the git, <clears throat> the git status. 
We're on the main branch, change is not staged for commit, um, but it shows me right here that I have a modified file, gpush. Would I like to push the changes? We'll say yes. Now it's asking me to add a message. So we are going to say uh, test push for video. We hit enter and it's gonna go through and it's gonna tell me one's changed, it's compressing, doing its thing, yada, yada, yada. And we have now successfully pushed onto so now if we go in here, let's open the Brave browser and we'll go to my Git my GitLab. And we look at that was the scripts directory right here. You can see last updated 25 seconds ago. And the commit is test push for video. And so we push that change just like that. So now Let's go in and change a couple of them. So now we'll go in and we will add this comment back into this one. And then we will go into my Archman script and we will add a comment into this one. So now we've changed two files. So now what we do is if we do a G push, and it's the same file again, scripts, but now we put the star there. <clears throat> What's gonna happen is if we hit enter, now look, now it's going to get status. We've got two files changed. Would you like to push changes? Yes, add a message. So we're gonna say this is second push for video. So we've got two files changed, two insertions, two deletions. Goes through. And now if we go back oops, to this, we're gonna refresh the page here. We can see it updated the Archman and it updated the Gpush. So, just like that, with that, and I, well, I can I can show you here. It'll work with any. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I go G push. See, I'm not even in the directory I need to be in, and we're gonna go suckless. And then I changed. I think my config dot h is what I think it was. So let's hit enter on main branch. Nothing to commit. Working tree clean. So no. See, so now no changes pushed. Waits two seconds and exits out. Uh, maybe I didn't change one of those. So um, anyway, uh, let's uh, go back home and then go into suckless DDM2, and then we'll do vim config.h, and how about we do a oops? We'll just make a comment here, and then we will write and quit. So now if we do g push suckless config.h, it shows that. So it works in any directory you're in. Um, like to push changes, yes, add message, video test, one file changed, one insertion, one deletion, runs through, and we're good to go. It's pushing those, and so yeah. So basically, the CD scripts. Vim G push. So again, we're gonna run through this real quick one more time. It's gonna check to make sure if anything runs in this and fails that it doesn't continue running. It's gonna look for my first argument as the repo, my second argument is the file. It's gonna check if both of those are have something in them. If they don't, if either one is empty, it's gonna show me an error and it's gonna exit. And it's gonna run get status. It's gonna ask me if I'd like to push the changes. Um, if I say yes, then it's going to check to see if I'm doing either a single file or if I'm doing the full directory or multiple files. Once it decides that, it's going to ask me to add a message. I'll add my commit message, and then it will do my commit and my push, and you're good to go. If it if I say no to the what I like to push, then it's going to print no changes pushed, and then it's going to sleep for two seconds, and it's going to exit. So again, this is just something that I just wanted to save a couple seconds and a couple key presses on having to type out all that stuff every time I want to push something. And so I figured this would, this would do the trick. So if you like this, you found it helpful, you found it, uh, think it might be something you'd like to use, by all means, it'll be on my uh, GitHub and my GitLab page. So go ahead and go take it. 
um, and check it out. So yeah, thanks again for watching, uh, and I hope you guys have a great day. God bless.